What's going on guys? Today we are back with some world domination. So quick, just a quick preview of what you're going to see today. We're going to be going over the insane mode on San Francisco. So it's going to be our first whack at taking down this crazy extreme difficulty. I hope you guys enjoy, but let's go ahead and dive into the video. It's the kind of beat the gold. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joey and today we're going to be checking out San Francisco on the insane mode. Now, I'm not going to lie, this is a pretty tricky difficulty mode and I'm not the best at it. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys straight. I've had some tr some trouble with it, but I think I finally have a team that can manage it pretty darn well. If I kind of have all my placings right, I really make use of the flares and the Molotov cocktails and things like that. But I'm feeling pretty good about it and I thought, let's go ahead and make a video on it. Now, I can't guarantee that I'm going to go and do insane mode for every single city because honestly, guys, I don't have the team power to just kind of charge through that yet. But who knows in the future, maybe we'll be able to cover that a little bit. But for now, we're just going to focus on San Francisco. So I did complete the first day just because I was trying to figure it out, get a good feeling for it. But now we're going to go on to day two and let's go and dive in really quick. So. Really cool thing about the insane difficulty. They're throwing you, they're throwing mythics at you. They're throwing all sorts of crazy stuff at you. It's really tricky. But another really cool thing about it is that they actually require you to bring a certain group of units. So for example, here, you're required to bring at least a level 20 fire chief, a level 10 EMT, and level 10 firefighter. So it's kind of interesting because it kind of helps mold you to that specific map and what you're gonna have to actually bring along to do that. So I do have my firefighter, EMT, and fire chief along with me along with my other usual suspects, my machine gunner, Captain Zeta, uh, sharpshooter, you know, the usual crew and everything. But I'm feeling pretty good about it, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, go for it. I'm not going to lie, guys, I've been loving these new loading screens. I think they're really cool. I love the little forum bits that they're on there sometimes and some other stuff. But let's go ahead and jump into the map here. So we do have three objective points, three main points where the zombies are actually going to be spawning the infected so we're gonna have some mythics so we're gonna have looks like some colossus-esque brutish units along with some daredevils some sprayers and some spitters and things like that and these are pretty much all mythic looking versions so they're gonna be a little bit trickier than your average joe but i think we'll be able to do deal with them pretty darn well so we're gonna really focus on this first area right here just right off the bat I'm going to go ahead and throw down a solid little combo of here with the EMT firefighter and fire chief up front to mainly just do take a lot of damage from this these oncoming waves. And I'm going to go ahead and throw destructor in the mix as well, along with my two gunner units, my desperado and commando. Now, I'm also going to want to get my sniper in here just because <clears throat> for the main point being, we're going to be having to deal with a lot of oncoming colossus and brutes and that's going to allow me to deal a lot of damage to those guys and just do things like that so let's go ahead and start the ways we'll just jump right into it first looks like we're gonna get some sprayers so we've i've basically pretty much poured everything into this first pretty much area because i feel like we're gonna have to deal with them the most and i want to have as much firepower on it as possible now, of course, we're going to have to start worrying about some of our other areas like this spawn point over here. Looks like we're about to get some of our melee units up and running here in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and start spawning them over here on this pad straight in front of the hospital. And once I get my gunners, I'm going to go and put them in this walled area behind here just to kind of allow for a little bit of extra wall cover, things like that. Let's go ahead and stim them up. Flare them back just for a moment here, just to give them a little bit of extra time. We we'll go ahead and get our commando in the mix as well, because we really need to work on taking down as many drones as possible, and just kind of dealing with all that. Let's go ahead and throw down another fire chief here. Sharpshooter's about to get into the mix as well, and let's get another firefighter up front to keep taking damage. I'm hoping I'm doing well on the right there. I'm feeling pretty confident with it. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go ahead and stim these guys up. They're going for this hospital pretty darn quick. I'm not loving that. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not loving it. All right, so we got another firefighter up in the ranks here. I'm going to go and throw in the Desperado EMT. Flare him back really quick. Looks like we're holding down the fort pretty well. Not going to lie. They're just going for it over there. My goal right now is to defend one objective, and that's going to be my main sole focus because right now, kind of struggling with everything else. All right. Oh, we might be able to save a second one here. Okay, let's go ahead and get this fire chief over here kind of locked down. See if we can get another. He may he may be able to take down these spitters by himself, which would be really nice. 
But nope, he's just going to get taken out really quick. Let's go ahead and throw down a sharpshooter down here, just down the lane. Take down that sprayer. And we're just going to keep on working to take out these guys the best we can. Sprayer is just going to town. But I think if we th go ahead and throw this fire chief with another firefighter and EMT, we should be able to take down these last couple of mutated zombies here. And go ahead and save the day with two objectives remaining. I'm feeling pretty good about that. All right, so the sniper should be able to take these guys down. But let's go ahead and throw down the commando and a stimzy just for safe measure. And down he goes. 396 out of 240. Not going to lie, for insane mode, I'm going to take it. I'm going to rock and roll with that. So, unit survival bonus. We didn't get anything for that. But we did defeat all the enemies. We did pretty good with the objectives protected. And then time remaining, we did well too. So, that really got us the majority of points. Got 416 plus our 20 bonus out of 625. Now, it's not perfect by any means. But we did manage to get two of the tiers here for the mission objectives. And let's see what we got. Let's see what we picked up here. <clears throat> So we got a pretty good amount of rations and a mercenary. I'll take that any day. So yeah, that's uh, an insane map level. It's very hectic. Pretty crazy. I'm all over the place. My units aren't especially prepared for it, but you know, it's pretty crazy. But guys, I do hope you enjoyed that quick little look at the insane mode. I'm definitely going to be covering a little bit more as we go and I upgrade my units. But guys, let me know down in the comments how you have guys fared in the insane difficulty. I'd love to see where you guys are at and kind of how you've grinded through it but guys thank you so much for watching as always i really do hope you enjoyed this episode and i will see you guys in the next episode peace out guys